Hi babies, Mama Dukes here from AllDayShirts.com with a Thanksgiving tutorial for you babies. So we're going to be doing a bleach dye tutorial for you guys. I'm going to do sublimation on a 50-50. It's okay, I'm gonna show you how it's done. I'm so excited. Our tutorial is going to be on a Gildan G185 in the color orange. The things that you're going to need is one, of course, your sweatshirt, your image, and then you're going to need some glitter vinyl in the color white. We're going to need a paintbrush. This is a little hack. If you want clean lines on a bleach dye, it's good to use the toilet bowl cleaner. Gel, because it's thicker. You're going to need your spray bottle and some peroxide rinse because you wanna deactivate the bleach. A Teflon sheet when you get ready to do your press. You're gonna need your bucket for rinsing it out. You have a sink, use your sink. We have a bucket. One of the most important things, something to put in between your sweater. You could use cardboard, plastic, something. I'm using my mat. The reason you need something in between is because you don't want the bleach to bleed through on the back of the sweatshirt. Okay, let's do it. So the very first thing you wanna do is put the mat in between the jacket. Stretch it out and lay it flatter so you don't get any wrinkles. So it should look like this. The second thing you wanna do is you want to measure out where you're going to put your image. You usually go three or four fingers down from the neckline. I'll place it about right here. So this is where I want to make my outline. Now you take your paintbrush and you just fill it in. If you need more, put more. Now that we have our outline done, the rest we can play with and have fun and just make a design all over the sweatshirt. There are ways you can do that. You can scrunch it up, you can ball it up, or you can just go ham. I think I'm just going to go ham. Let's go. Spray bottle, mist. You wanna make droplets, open and shake. Another thing I like to do is go along the edges. Brush it in. I'm going back over the area because I really want this bleached out. Okay, I'm going to sit this outside until it reaches the desired lightness. You can have it as light or as dark as you want. And it achieves the color that you like. Dip it in your peroxide rinse. Okay, let's do it. Okay, now we're gonna go in with our peroxide. It's about halfway full. I'm gonna pour the whole content in here. Saturate it with the water. I put one third of water in the bucket and just let it mix all together. And just, you know, swish it around. Let it get saturated. The purpose for putting the peroxide in with the water is to deactivate the bleach. If I just, you know, rinse it out and hang it out, it might still bleach more down the fibers and make holes. This way we deactivate the bleach and protect the fabric. Then I'm gonna squeeze this out and I'm gonna hang it back outside so it can dry. Or if you wanna put it in your dryer, you can. All right, guys, we are ready to squeeze this out. All right, babies, we're back. Our sweatshirt has dried, and now it's time to press the design. The first step to doing sublimation on a 50-50 cotton polyester blend is to have glitter HTV in the color white. What we're going to do is we're going to press this on first, and then we're going to press our sublimation image on top of it so that it will show through. Line it up, Teflon sheet, and press. You want it just enough to stick. Now we peel to lay our sublimation image. But I am going to block this off with butcher paper because I don't want my sweater to burn. Then you press for one minute. Let's see what we got, guys. Ooh! When you have the little discoloration around the sides, you take peroxide spray, spray it over, and then you just let this hover over the top. You don't close it. 
Okay, baby. Yay! Oh, yeah. Cute. Let's try this on and see how it looks. So here you have it. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, ring the notification bell so you can be kept up to date with everything we do here at AllDayShirts.com. If you like this video, leave a comment down below. And also, if you have any questions, be sure to leave them down below. I would love to hear from you guys. We now have Sezzle, Klarna, and soon to come is Apple Pay. See you guys next video. Eat a ham, save turkey. Bye.